welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing like this new fleece and I've already destroyed it with foundation. Oh well, <laughs> I don't mind. It's so cozy. There is a blizzard going on outside. If I open this window, all you'll probably see is like white stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I didn't really have any intention of filming today, but I did get something special in the mail. I've been seeing everyone in the US get their Paulina X Blush Tribe palette and I was just waiting for mine to come so here it is and I got this really cute card as well with their face on it and it says thank you for your purchase I appreciate your support and that you choose to shop at Blush Tribe da 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 and this is from the owner of Blush Tribe and again, here is Paulina's palette. It's so cute. So a little bit of my history with Paulina. We met after Angelica featured both of us in a YouTuber's under a thousand subscribers to follow or something like that. And we've been friends ever since. And yeah, I'm so excited for this palette. She totally is one of the queens of color on YouTube, I would say. And uh, I couldn't find a more perfect palette for Paulina because she loves green, she loves purple, and I think she found the perfect balance with this palette. I've been doing so many green looks on my channel, I'm kind of contemplating if I should tap into the pinks and the purples. But the greens are so tempting too, and I'm like, do I do one eye and one eye? But, oh, the decisions, what do you guys think? I think I'm going to force myself to use the pinks and the purples. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick look with this palette and give you guys some first impressions. Fun fact about me, so I think I heard about Blush Tribe from Angelica or Paulina or maybe even both of them. So I bought this palette. This is their Blossom palette and true to form, it's never been touched. And then I also bought the Malika palette at the same time because they're so affordable. Again, neither of these I've used. So <laughs> I should probably just do a giveaway. We'll see. We'll see if I don't get to these in 2019. Maybe I'll give them away. They're beautiful palettes and I should use them, but it's just like I have so many. And then I got this one, which is the Hasina palette. I had my eye on this forever and I didn't, oh, and I didn't want to place an order just to get this. So when they did the Fall Fusion palette, I ordered the Hasina palette too. This is a beautiful palette as well. And then here is the Fall Fusion palette. In this one, she named a shade called Paulina. And there is a shade called Angelica in here. And uh, I believe the Paulina shade in here is not the same as the Paulina shade in here. Or is it? I can't remember. Paulina did talk about it. Let me swatch it really quick. So in case you guys have this palette, you're wondering, they kind of look different. Am I, am I crazy you guys? Tell me, because my brain hurts right now and I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I feel like in the Hasina palette, just eyeballing it, these greens kind of look similar. So let's swatch. Mahia and Sige kind of look the same. So there's that. So this is Mahia and then Sige are pretty similar too. So that's okay. And then, oh, I want to check if or Aubergine from the Fall Fusion palette is same as the Aubergine in here. I feel like Paulina had answered all these questions in her video and I totally cannot remember. So Here's Aubergine from the Paulina palette. Let me open up the Fall Fusion. They look pretty similar. So there's all those swatches in case anyone was curious. So I meant to feature the Fall Fusion palette in a video and I did use this once. I don't think I used it on camera. So if you guys are interested in reviews on any of these other blush dry palettes that you haven't seen on my channel yet because I buy too much makeup. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I really do. But all of that is going to change in 2019. And I'm gonna attempt to use the stuff I have more. So anyway, 
those are the swatches. Let's get into an eye look. Obviously my base is done. I just need to put a liquid lipstick on after I'm done. <laughs> um, what shade should I go in with? This is tough, you guys. I think I'm going to go in first with the shade Angel because it's like a light pink. So I just tap my brush into it here. And this is a MAC 224, and I'm just gonna place that in the crease. And uh, I just used foundation on my eyelid, and then I set it with the Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder. So I like to get pretty messy with my crease. And you don't have to be too precise, obviously, because we're gonna layer more shades. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the shade Paulina and we're gonna keep this in the outer corner of the crease and deepen it up. And then once I have that in the outer corner, I can drag it in a little bit just to add some blend so that it's not like a harsh contrast between the two shades. Now I want to go into the shade Aubergine to darken up the outer half of the crease and the lid. So I'm still using the same brush and just tapping it. I like to say in my get ready with me, it's like my makeup looks guys are so simple because like this is me, like I'm an average everyday person. This is the average everyday makeup I do. So I try to make things easy to follow and not do too many crazy steps. So hopefully you guys can follow along. There is a little bit of fallout here, but I can sweep that away with a brush. Okay. So, maybe a little bit more aubergine. Okay, I'm not gonna blend it anymore. And then I'm just gonna take a ColourPop, this is just a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Thingaling. <laughs> I watched Paulina's explanation video of why she named the shades, the names she gave them, and she said thingling is like the word she says to refer to like stuff, and she can't remember the name. So this is going on pretty well, and this is dry. I do want to foil it, so I've been trying to use up this uh, Rose Hydrating Mist by Sephora, so I'm just going to use that. Um, so I pick up some, and I spray the brush. It's a new technique that you guys... Well, it's not new, but you guys told me it's probably better for the shadows if I pick up the shadow and then spray the brush so that the pig it doesn't mess with like the pigment, which I think is pretty freaking smart. So I'm just packing this on my lid. It's a beautiful shade. Okay, now let's do the other eyes. Okay, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. It looks good in the viewfinder. In person, I'm wondering if it's like a little bit more, it looks a little bit more patchy than I had thought, but that could just be me, I don't know. And then I kind of want to do something different and put some of this very hot, green call friends. I have a hard time with shades like friends. Um trying to get that true color because um of my skin tone. But I'm trying to like I'm trying to stamp it. But it's kind of blending away so maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Okay so let's just leave that like that. 
trying to blend it away now because it's bothering me. Little green flecks of like Martian dust. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Linda Hallberry Blue. This is the Cool Mood. Okie dokie. And then to smoke out the lower lash line, let's go in with the Arbor Jean shade. You guys, I don't know when my lower lashes got so long, but they have been quite long. So now I'll add a lip color and be right back. Okay guys, here is the finished look I am wearing. One of my favorite lip colors, this is True Story by Morphe. This is our liquid lipstick and really quick, before I go, let me go ahead and swatch the entire palette too. I forgot to do that um, while I was showing you guys comparison swatches. So let's dig in. So these are the first three shades. We have Friends and then we have Sige and um, Suli. Super pretty. That shimmer shade is gorgeous. And then we have Humble, Thingaling, and Angel. I think she said Angel was for her mom. Let me build up the pink a little bit more. So there it is. Here's the last three. We have Salma, who is the name of the owner of Blush Tribe, Paulina, and Arbor Jean. So there's swatches of the entire palette. I can't remember if this palette is sold out or not. I got it on the Blush Tribe website. I will try and remember to link it down in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in purchasing it. Um, Blush Tribe is based in the UK, so um, keep in mind there is an exchange rate. Okay, so it's £21.99. I used the code Paulina and got £2.20 off, and so I paid £19.79 for the palette, and then shipping was £6. So the total I paid for this palette is £25.79. <laughs> so yeah, that is the Paulina palette. Just want to show you guys one more time in case you haven't seen this. I will also remember to link Paulina's channel down below. First impressions on this palette. I think it's beautiful. I don't know that I will use this like multiple times. I don't know. I You guys know I have so many palettes so this is definitely not like for the faint of heart. You have to really enjoy this color story to really think of like reaching for this every day. I personally wouldn't reach for this every day, but that's just because of the unique color scheme. So definitely if these are your colors, I can see you loving this. I'm just terrible. I have so many Blush Tribe palettes that I still need to use. The formula is very average. I don't think it's anything like extraordinary, but of course keep in mind it is a very in-between price point. Like it's not very high-end, um, but it's not color pop pricing either. The other thing is it does ship internationally, so if you don't want to wait <laughs> for a long time, having to wait for the palette to ship and things like that too. But she's usually pretty quick and if you want like tracking, there is a higher end price point. Anyway, just wanted to kind of give you guys my thoughts on the palette. Of course, I want to use it more and review it for you guys. So let me know your initial thoughts. Do you like this eye look I created? Definitely go ahead and check out Paulina's channel as well. She is, like I said, one of the queens of color when it comes to YouTube. There's a few YouTubers that are really good at color and she is definitely one of them. So if you want some good inspiration on how to use this palette, I'm sure she's got a ton of looks as well. So I'll have to go ahead and check out some of those tutorials and do more looks with this. But yeah, overall, I'm so happy for Paulina. I'm so pumped that Blush Tribe, you know, took a small YouTuber under their wing and decided to kind of give them a chance. I think that's pretty cool and can't think of anyone more deserving than Paulina. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.